service has played a huge role in supporting the efforts of the judiciary in terms of making the administration of justice more efficient. The service worked very hard to assist with the establishment of the second special criminal court, and this has realized a reduction in waiting times from two years to 15 months. Indeed, between 2008 and 2016, the net cost to the state of the day-to-day -day running of the court service has reduced 52%. There are several areas we need to address in protecting the right of a fair trial of an individual in the era of social media. The fundamental right to a fair trial does not change in the face of new means of communication. Rules can and must reflect the new reality. First, we need to consider draft guidelines regarding the who, when and what of using social media in the courtroom. We need to look at legal reform to take cognizance of the new reality of instant communication. A court must have available to it effective and proportionate enforcement sanctions in the event of non-compliance of its orders. And in the Fines Act, proportionality is provided by the introduction of new enforcement provisions. Imprisonment is now the matter of last resort. Strikingly, there was a decrease of 32% in new possession cases year on year, and an incredible 111% decrease over two years. The use of digital audio recording, DAR, and video link conferencing has brought significant benefits to the administration of justice and generated savings for the prison service. Electronic filing is in place for small claims and insolvency cases, and this is an area that we hope to see develop in the future. New practices in the Court of Appeal brought about great efficiencies in the court's time. In the High Court, staff efforts have helped the judiciary to maintain waiting times as low as six weeks for most areas of work. In the Central Criminal Court, waiting times have been reduced to 11 months thanks to the efforts of staff, judges, and to the allocation of extra resources by the President of the High Court and the CEO. We were told that orange was at 12 o'clock. Uh, it wasn't at a minute to 12, it wasn't at a minute past 12. Uh, it was when the many church bells were ringing in the, uh, in the vicinity. Uh, and I think it's in keeping uh, with what we have come to expect from the court service in terms of the delivery uh, of a most professional service. I can say with some probability or perhaps with some certainty uh, that maybe it's the last occasion uh, upon which Chief Justice Denham uh, will be presenting uh, the court service annual report to a minister uh, as the Chief Justice.